welcome you to this great service this morning. Our prophetic team for the month is fight a good fight of faith. Hallelujah. And this morning, we are standing in the gap for the entire globe because of the saint of God to say no to this epidemic. And God hears prayers. After this service today, you begin to see things happening positively. I thought your amen would be louder than that. So this morning, we have come to wage war against this coronavirus. Praise the name of the Lord. To stand on behalf of the entire saint of God and the globe at large. And this morning, what we are doing is what is going on in all our churches worldwide. Where they are meeting. God must answer. Hallelujah. This morning, briefly, before we engage in warfare prayers, looking at God's word on the subject, winning the war against the plague of coronavirus. That's our topic this morning. So it is warfare time. Praise the name of the Lord. It is warfare time. Tell your neighbor it is warfare time. Hallelujah. Winning the war against the plague of coronavirus. Ephesians chapter 6 and verses 10 to 18. Finally, my brethren, be strong in the Lord and in the power of his might. Put on the whole armor of God that you may be able to stand against the wiles of the devil. For we wrestle not against flesh and blood. But against principalities, against powers, against the rulers of the darkness of this world, against spiritual wickedness in high places. Wherefore, take unto you the whole armor of God, that you may be able to withstand in the evil day, and having done all, to stand. Hallelujah. Stand therefore, having your loins guarded about with fruit. And have on, on the breastplate of righteousness. And your feet should with the preparation of the gospel of peace. Verse 16. Above all, taking the shield of earth wherewith you shall be able to quench all the fiery dart of the wicked. The shield of earth. And take the element of salvation and the sword of the spirit, which is the word of God. Verse 18. Praying always with all prayer and supplication in the spirit and watching thereunto with all perseverance and supplication for all saints. Praise the name of the Lord. Have on all, stand. Stand. The war that we are engaged it's not a physical war. It's from the pit of hell. Praise the name of the Lord. Demonic incursions. To take over the globe. But we are standing to say no. And no. And no. Whatever plague that seeks to keep the church at home, you should know that it's not physical. It is spiritual. The church is the hope of the world. Praise the name of the Lord. And then he said, because of plague, sit at home. That is a war against principalities and powers. But we wrestle not against flesh and blood. Powers of darkness, principalities, rulers of darkness. Hallelujah. But thank God, the weapons of our warfare is mighty. And that's what we are engaging this morning. We are called to stand in the gap for mankind. 
Because the church is the hope of the world. Therefore, we are standing this morning to take that God-given assignment as believers on behalf of the continent of the world to say no to this coronavirus. Corona. It's not even a sweet name. Kuru, Kuru, Kuru. Praise the name of the Lord. In Genesis chapter 18, verses 24 to 26, we saw how Abraham stood on behalf of a nation. Lord, for the righteous, if you can find 50 righteous within the city, will thou destroy the land or spare the, won't you spare it? He went on his knee, stood in the gap, wrestled in prayers, and God said, no problem, for the sake of the righteous, if I can find 50, I will spare the land. Oh God, don't be angry that I'm dragging you this far. Supposing you find 45, Will you because of five that is short and still destroy the land? 45. 45. You have said one soul is very important. God said, okay, I won't destroy. <laughs> and Abraham went on and on. What if it is 30 people? Oh God, don't be angry. I know you have every reason to be angry. But assuming you find 10, and God said, I will not destroy the land. Ten. The whole globe. There are more than ten righteous. That's why God must spare the land. That's why God must intervene. For the sake of the righteous. For the sake of the righteous. For the sake of the righteous. That's why we are going to be praying this morning. God will spare the nations of the earth for the sake of the righteous. For the sake of the righteous. Abraham stood in prayers. Passionate prayers. Not, not, you know how many hours that that prayer took? You know how many hours it took? It's not as recorded. Because there will be no time to record all that he said and everything. All that transpired. He stood violent prayers. Passionate prayers, not psychedelic prayer. When I say pray, when it is time to pray, please pray. Please pray. Please pray. The kind of prayer Abraham prayed. And in John chapter 3 and verse 39, of course, if we claim to be sons of Abraham, we will do what Abraham did. John chapter 8 and verse 39. Many a times we sing to take the blessings of Abraham. But we don't take the responsibilities of Abraham. Praise the name of the Lord. If you were Abraham's children, you will do the works of Abraham. Abraham's blessings are mine. Abraham's blessings are mine. You know how to sing that very well. I am blessed in the morning, noon and evening. The same way you sang it, Abraham's responsibilities are yours. Praise the name of the Lord. If you claim to be Abraham's children, he said you will do the works of Abraham. And Galatians chapter 3 and verse 29 had already connected us to the blessings of Abraham and invariably the responsibilities of Abraham. If he be Christ, then you are Abraham's seed. You are children of Abraham. And he is according to the promise. So, if Abraham is your father, he's authentic, and you are an authentic son, whatever you see him do, do, and then you will get what he got. Praise the name of the Lord. When believers stand in the gap, God heals the land. God has no option. God must intervene. In Second Chronicles chapter 7, and verses 13 and 14, if my people that are called by my name, if I shut up heaven, that there be no rain, or if I command the locusts to devour the land, 
or if I send pestilence upon my people, no matter what it is that is happening. Verse 14. To reverse it, this is what to do. If my people, which are called by my name, shall humble themselves and pray and seek my face and turn from their wicked ways, then will I hear from heaven and I will forgive their sins and I will heal the land. Praise the name of the Lord. I will heal the land. If they will pray, if they will passionately pray and seek my face, I will turn. I will heal the land. No matter where the plague is coming from, I will intervene. I will intervene. I will heal the land. Praise the name of the Lord. I will heal the land. Matthew chapter 18 and verse 19. There is power in corporate prayers. He said, Again, I say unto you that if two of you shall agree on earth as touching anything that they shall ask, it shall be done for them of my Father which is in heaven. And we are more than two here. So whatever we ask this morning, God will do it. I say whatever we ask this morning, God will do it. I say whatever we ask this morning, God will do it. If you believe God will do it, shout the loudest, Amen. Shout the loudest, Amen. Shout the loudest, Amen. amen. This is a battle that we must fight. Victory is sure. Why? Because our faith is in that. But to conquer in this battle, (laughs) you must not be afraid. Praise the name of the Lord. You must never be afraid. You must never. No person wins any battle with fear. No matter the weapon you are holding, if you don't have a heart, you can never make any mark. Concerning the children of Ephraim, the Bible says, even though they were well armed, but in the day of battle, they turn back. Why? Because their heart began to leak. If you are afraid, you can't win the battle. You are afraid you can't win the battle. You are afraid you can't win the battle. You need a heart. The battle is half won by the state of your heart. Praise the name of the Lord. Everyone is a victim of his fear. So, never entertain fear. Some people are not in church today now because of fear. Fear. Fear of what, Koro? Praise the name of the Lord. Fear. Just afraid for nothing. For nothing. Praise the name of the Lord. Proverbs chapter 29 and verse 25. Don't give room to fear. The fear of man bringeth a snare. But whoso put his trust in the Lord shall be saved. The fear of a man brings a snare. Fear goes with torment. It is evil. Praise the name of the Lord. The opposite of faith is fear. The devil cannot win any battle against a child of God. What he introduces is fear. Fear. Just like the dog, when the dog is barking, he's barking to intimidate you. The dog himself is afraid. The only way to, to, to weed off his own fear is to back. To back to say, I hope this person, let me see who, let me see. He backs. He is ready. The dog has already prepared himself to run. It's you who didn't know. So he's backing. The more you walk boldly, the more he begins to advise himself. Will I say this one? No, be somebody to try. But when he sees fear, oh, he strengthens. That's what fear does. It emboldens and strengthens your enemies. Don't give room to fear. Job said, The thing I greatly fear is what came upon me. Job 3 and 25. Don't give room to fear. 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 As a child of God, you are covered. Praise the name of the Lord. Don't give room to fear. A wise man says, when fear knocks at the door, send faith to go and open the door. And you discover it's no more there. Hallelujah. Don't give room to fear. Don't give room to fear. The same way every other epidemic came 
and went. This one too will go like that. It will fizzle away like that. It will fizzle. HIV came. Ooh, 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 ooh. It will be left. Praise the name of the Lord. Um, Ebola came, came, came. Ebola is into the atmosphere. Lassa fever came. Ooh, ooh, ooh. This one just came to show faith. It will soon evaporate. <laughs> Praise the name of the Lord. As the Lord liveth, it will soon disappear. Because our God is alive. Don't give room to fear. Help me tell your neighbor, don't give room to fear. Praise the name of the Lord. What are the keys to dealing with this evil tide? What are the keys? How do we deal with this evil tide? Number one, we must return back to God in repentance for help. We must return back in repentance for help. 2 Kings chapter 6, verses 26 to 27. We must return back to God. Let this be a time of returning back to God as a nation, as a person, as a people. And as the king of Israel was passing by upon the walls, there cried a woman unto him, saying, Help my Lord, O king. And the king said, If the Lord do not help thee, where shall I help thee from? Out of the barn floor or out of the wine press. All of us need help now. We must return back to the Lord. Second Chronicles 7.14 If my people that are called by my name will humble themselves, turn from their evil ways, and pray unto me, seek my face, I will hear them, and I will heal the land. Hallelujah. We must return back to God in repentance for help. Number two, we must pray to God to stop this plague from ravaging the earth. We must pray. We must pray. That's our God-given assignment. We must pray. We must pray. Let's stop analyzing. All manners of analysis. Everybody must just talk. Everybody, even everybody that doesn't know anything must just talk. Say, eh? Hey, this coronavirus is very wicked, though. He doesn't know anything. He doesn't know. Praise the name of the Lord. Everybody is just talking and talking. Don't join them. Our duty is to pray. Praise the name of the Lord. Our duty is to pray. Matthew chapter 7, verses 7 to 8. Mark 11 and verse 24. Mark 11 and verse 24. Whatever we say, God is committed. Our own is to pray. What things soever you desire when you pray, believe and you will receive it. Ours is to pray. Believe. When we pray, believe. James 4, 2. You receive not. Why? Because you ask not. Let's ask God. Let's ask God. Let's ask God. Let's ask God. Psalm 127 and verses 1 to 2. The Bible says, except the Lord builds, they that labor, they labor in vain. Except the Lord watches over the city, the watchmen, they stay awake in vain. No matter how much you talk, 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 until we bring God into the matter. <laughs> the matter has no any solution. Praise the Lord. That is where our solution is. How can I help you? If God does not help us, that's what the king said. So, ours is to pray. Number three, some satanic resistances may require prayer and fasting to crush. This kind goeth not except by prayer. And by fasting. Matthew chapter 17 and verses 20 to 21. This kind go ahead. There are some kind. This kind go ahead not except by prayer and fasting. You wedge it with fasting to destroy this evil tide wave of the devil. Praise the name of God. Therefore, we must continue to pray as individuals, families, fellowships, congregations. At home, in our personal prayer time, in our partnership prayer time, in our group prayer times, we must keep praying. Don't limit the prayer to this morning. Every avenue, let's pray and keep canceling this evil tide of the devil. Isaiah chapter 62 and verses 6 to 7. Then I have set watchmen upon the walls of Jerusalem which shall never hold their peace day nor night. Ye that make mention of the Lord keep not silent. 
and give him to rest. And give him no rest till he establish and till he make Jerusalem a praise in the earth. Give him no rest. Give him no rest. Come, Isaiah 26 and verse 20. Come, my people, enter down into your chambers. Shut your door. Hide yourself for a little moment until the indignation be overpassed. It's time to shut in and begin to pray. Praise the name of the Lord. Take time. Personal prayer time. Begin. Let's begin to wage war against this epidemic. Praise the name of the Lord. And then we see God's name being glorified. Hallelujah. Number four, we must keep declaring the siege of coronavirus is over. We must keep declaring. We must keep declaring. Stop speaking negatively. Speak what you want to see. Don't say what others are saying. Say not a confidence to what they call a confidence. Don't fear their fears. Isaiah chapter 8 and verse 11. Praise the name of the Lord. Don't say what they are saying. Don't speak the way they speak. And the Lord speak thus to me with a strong hand and instructed me that I should not walk in the way of these people saying, verse 12, see ye not a confederacy to all them to whom these people shall say confederacy. Don't say what they are saying. Don't say what they are saying. Neither fear ye their fear, nor be afraid. Don't fear their fear. Don't fear their fear. Praise the name of the Lord. Don't fear their fear. While it is important that we keep to all the preventive measures, that is not ultimately enough. It is God's hand that will quench this epidemic. Praise the name of the Lord. Some people out of fear, they will even overdo what they say they should do. Praise the name of the Lord. And then you put yourself again in bondage. You can trust that during this period now, some mischievous men, they will take advantage and say, the wife should sleep in another room. Praise the name of the Lord. All manners. Don't fear the affair. Don't fear the affair. Praise the name of the Lord. If God swept away Ebola that way, Kept you safe. Kept your family safe. Is it this one that he won't keep you? Praise the name of the Lord. But we must keep declaring. Anytime we pray, let's keep making this declaration boldly, authoritatively. The siege of coronavirus is over. What did I say we should say? The siege of coronavirus is over. Come on, let's say it one more time. The siege of coronavirus is over. Come on, say it more authoritatively. It's over. Hallelujah. In Luke 21 and verse 15, I will give you a mount and a wisdom which your adversary will not be able to resist nor gain say. I will give you a mount. Luke 21, 15. And a wisdom. I will give you a mount which your adversary, the devil, will not be able to resist. As we say it, we must see it. As we say it, we must say, don't be afraid to say it. He said, open your mouth wide and you shall feel it. Psalm 81 of us there. Say it boldly. Say it clearly. Clearly. Praise the name of the Lord. Say it with confidence. Mark 11 of us 24. We will have whatsoever we say. We will have whatsoever we say. What sin soever you desire. When you pray, just believe. 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 Do you believe? believe and you will have whatever you say verse 23 we will have whatever we say for verily i say unto you that whosoever shall say unto this mountain be thou removed and be cast into the sea and shall not doubt in his heart but shall believe those things which is here he will have whatsoever he said he will have whatsoever he said let's keep saying it let's keep speaking to the atmosphere and we'll see god confirming his word hallelujah to jesus come on shout a louder amen what must we begin to say? The siege of coronavirus is over. Come on, say it again. The siege of coronavirus is over. I 
As for you, what is your covenant position in redemption? Number one, you, your own case is different. Say my case is different. Come on, say it again. Hallelujah. Like your case is different. Your case is be settled. Settled with that word. Your case is different. As believers, we must understand that our own case is different. Why? Because we are redeemed. We are peculiar. First Peter chapter 2 and verse 9. You are a chosen generation. A royal people. A, a, a royal people. A peculiar. A royal priesthood. A holy nation. A peculiar people. That you should show forth his praises of him who had called you out of darkness into his marvelous light. You are unique. You are peculiar. Your case is different. Corona has no part in your body. No, no. Your body is too hot. The temperature of your body, <laughs> the spiritual temperature is from the distance he will die. Praise the name of the Lord. He will die. He can't stay. Praise the name of the Lord. Because you are peculiar. You are redeemed of God. No evil is permitted. Hallelujah. What is your covenant position in redemption? Number two, no plague is permitted to touch you. That's what he has said. No plague, no plague is permitted to touch you. Of all the epidemics in Egypt, of all the plagues and diseases, the Bible says, none touch any of God's people because they were covenant children. Exodus chapter 8 and verses 22 to 23. So the plague is not targeting you. Praise the name of the Lord. And I will serve all. I will separate. I will make an exemption, a difference. In that day, in that day, the land of Goshen, in which my people dwell, that no swarm of flies shall be there. To the end that thou mayest know that I am the Lord in the midst of the earth. Verse 23. I will, and I will put a division between my people and thy people. I will put a division, a difference. I will exempt them. Praise the name of the Lord. So no plague is permitted to touch you. No plague is permitted to touch you. Exodus chapter 10 and verse 23. No plague is permitted. The Bible says, the people generally, they saw not one another. There was darkness in the land. Neither rose any from his place. For three days, there was no light. They could not see. But all the children of Israel had light in their dwellings. Ah. So no matter the darkness, no matter the gross darkness, your own case is different. No plague is permitted to touch you. Psalm 91 and verse 7. He said, A thousand shall fall at thy side. Ten thousand by your hand, right hand. But it shall come, it shall not come near thee. Hallelujah. So no plague is permitted to touch you. Say to yourself, No plague is permitted to touch me. Come on, say it one more time. Come on, say it one more time. No plague. Is permitted. So all that we are called to do is to stand in the gap. As we stand in the gap this morning, for the inhabitants of the earth, this plague shall surely become and shortly become history to the glory of God. Very shortly, when they mention coronavirus, people will begin to think, co -co 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 Corona. Okay, I think there was something sometime, sometime ago like that, sometime ago. It is passing away in the name of Jesus. I say it is passing away in the name of Jesus. It is passing away in the name of Jesus. Even though we are covenant children, however, it does not stop us to take the necessary precautionary measures. Praise the name of the Lord. Wisdom is profitable to direct. You want to cough. Don't cough everything out to people. Praise the name of the Lord. You have been told how to cough safely with your word. Well, praise the name of the Lord. If you are going on the staircase of anywhere, don't hold the stair, the railings, and all that. Keep your hand. 
If you don't know what to do with your hand, put it in your pocket so that you won't be tempted. Praise the name of the Lord. Wash your hands with soap. Wash it. Apart from any epidemic, it makes your hand neater the more, so there's no problem. Praise the name of the Lord. Those are things you can do without any problem. Praise the name of the Lord. Do that. When you feel sick, go and seek assistance. Stay at home. Or seek assistance to know what is wrong with you. Praise the name of the Lord. Don't take any unnecessary risk. Don't take any unnecessary risk. So these are simple, simple things that you can do. If you can afford sanitizer, you have it, no problem. But the blood of Jesus has sanitized you. If you don't have, praise the name of the Lord. Wash your hands, soap is cheap and all that. So adhere to some of these regular rules of hygiene. Praise the name of the Lord. Adhere to it, it will help. But ultimately what we are saying this morning is that there is a cover over you. As a covenant child, the blood of Jesus covers you. Do not be afraid because no plague will come near you in the name of Jesus. Your loved ones are safe wherever they are. Anywhere in the continent, they are safe in the name of Jesus. Every trace of coronavirus all across the nations of the earth, Lord, by the fire of the Holy Ghost, consume, 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 consume every trace, consume every trace of coronavirus all across the nations of the earth. Are you sure you are praying? Lift up your voice and pray. Leko robalia taragla baragaboria tosisa ragaba baba barosia tazia soso oruba leko paragaba baba Father, by the fire of the Holy Ghost, 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 consume, consume every trace of coronavirus. Consume every trace of coronavirus all across the nations of the earth. Pray, pray. Kuria, Nato Sosusa, La Ragabaya Garagadayaga, Otusa, Leko Poroto Sisa. Pray, pray, stand in the gap, stand in the gap, stand in the gap, stand in the gap, stand in the gap. Father, by the fire of the Holy Ghost, by the fire of the Holy Ghost, consume every trace of coronavirus all across the nations of the earth, all across the nations of the earth, all across the nations of the earth. Pray.
pray, pray, pray. Pray the second prayer now. Father, by the blood of Jesus, we subdue and overcome the plague of coronavirus holding the nations of the earth to ransom. Lift up your voice and pray. Father, by the blood of Jesus, by the blood of Jesus, we subdue and overcome the plague of coronavirus holding the nations of the earth to ransom. Father, by the blood of Jesus, we subdue and overcome the plague of coronavirus holding the nations of the earth to ransom. We overcame by the blood of the Lamb and by the words of our testimony. By the blood, 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 we subdue and overcome the plague of coronavirus. By the blood of Jesus, we subdue and overcome the plague of coronavirus. By the blood of Jesus, we subdue and overcome the plague of coronavirus. Lift up your voice, pray, 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 pray with passion, pray with us, pray. prayer right now. Father, we cause the root of coronavirus to dry up in every nation of the earth. We cause it, the root to dry up, to dry up, to dry up in Africa, law in Asia, in Europe. Lord, we command, we command, law, coronavirus, dry up, coronavirus, dry up, the root, the root of coronavirus, wherever it came from, we command the root to dry up now, dry up now, dry up now, dry up now, dry up, we cause the root of coronavirus to dry up in every nation of the earth, dry up, dry up, dry up, dry up, lift up your voice, pray, 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 pray. Begin to pray in the spirit now. Everybody rise up. Begin to make warfare in the spirit. Begin to make warfare in the spirit. Begin to decree. Begin to make warfare. Pray in the spirit. Let Koroba push your prayer. Bakala Korodos. Make it to Soto. Robedia. Ragababa. 
otusa laria taragala garadaga shantaragalaba ratosoto rogodogo rogolobolobo robelebolobo mekalaga rakada rakada raklan canton nombrando santoroboro brekataragarado chete entorusa aklata takarozo oruba rakada raga opea akada barando canton tombridi shata kridia tosokoto okrotobia deke koto okorobo pia taragala garado suste keke koto ko embroto kopo araga baba shakata raga baba le kotopa lift up your voice begin to wave to heaven begin to thank him for answer prayer begin to thank him for answer prayer give him thanks 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 le kopa lift up your voice begin to agree the siege of coronavirus is over the siege of coronavirus is over lift up your voice begin to declare that begin to declare that now the siege of coronavirus is over 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 wave your hands begin to thank him begin to thank him give him praise exalt him thank you father blessed be your name in jesus mighty name we are prayer we stand as your saint lord just like abraham stood and we decree fire to consume every siege of coronavirus in the name of jesus by the blood of jesus we subdue and overcome coronavirus in the name of jesus we cause the root of coronavirus to be withered now and we decree by the blood of jesus it is over now it is over now it is over now across the continent of the world across the globe coronavirus be dead in the name of jesus be dead in the name of jesus be dead in the name of jesus for when the lord shall turn the captivity of them that are desire we were like them that dream our tongue shall be filled with laughter and our tongue will rejoice because the lord has done great things it shall be our testimony in the name of jesus we therefore decree together that the siege of coronavirus is over let's say it together the siege of coronavirus is over and that shall be in the name of jesus thank you father wave your hands and thank something has happened something has happened something has happened thank you and thank you and thank you blessed be your name in jesus mighty name we are prayer go in peace the god of our fathers goes with you you are shielded you are protected the seal of god comes over you in the name of jesus no evil report for anyone this week for your children for your relations you will not hear any evil news this week in the name of jesus favor will hit you blessing will locate you good news will be your watchword in the name of jesus thank you father in jesus mighty name amen surely god's goodness and mercy shall follow us all the days of our lives and we shall dwell in the house of the lord forever amen it's my year of breaking limits then what eyes have not seen or ear heard shall be your experience all through the year 2020 congratulations 